Hi and welcome to another video of Made by Seam. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this beautiful placemat. Um, it is the second pattern in my uh, Cozy Moments by Seam Deco set. Um, I made this one in the... Uh, it, it's a gold um, gold colored yarn and it has a glitz to it. Gold glitz. I love it for upcoming holidays. Um, and I made a typical Christmas version, but you can make it, you know, any version that you like. Oh, I need to get that like that, so you can see the pattern a lot better. See? Um, well, I hope you guys are going to enjoy watching the video. I'm going to tell you um, in the next clip what you use, what you need to use for this pattern. Okay, for this tutorial, I'm going to use this yarn. This is the Stanley Opal. Um, I've been told that this is a sports weight yarn, and I think sports weight is a number two yarn. Um, it is 85% acrylic, no, cotton, not acrylic, cotton yarn, and 15% lurex. Yep. Um, 50 grams and 150 meters per ball of yarn. Um, I'm not sure if this yarn is available in your local area, but I wanted to use it because it is so pretty for Christmas coming up. So therefore I'm going to use this one. Um, this one will be in just one color, but the one that I already did, uh, the one um, that you will see on the photo right here, uh, I did a one in white silver and red silver. And I know that this yarn is also available in red with um, gold. So, um, but for this one, I'm going to use two balls of the same color. Now, where uh, why I decided to change colors in the pattern, I'm gonna tell you in the tutorial where I did it and why I did it. Or maybe not why, but where I did that. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, then uh, I'm going to use a three and a half, three and a half millimeter crochet hook. Um, I, this is the brand that I love which is a clover amour, then a pair of scissors, a, a darning needle to sew all, in all my ends, and I'm going to use this one. This is something I got from um, another YouTuber uh, here in the Netherlands. Her name is called Wendy Rademaker. She has an awesome uh, YouTube channel. Um, everything is in Dutch, but I think that she has um, a few videos that can be um, subtitled, maybe all of them, I'm not quite sure. Um, but she has a lot of things going on on her channel. It is amazing, please check it out. Um, I'm going to put a link at the very end of this video for you. But um, this, in this one, it well, this tube, it holds uh, stitch markers. I love to use these stitch markers. So I took one out and I'm going to use this pretty one in um, in this video. Right, um, about the yarn, I'm going to put the name down below into the description box. I got this yarn from a friend here in the Netherlands because she has a web shop. Um, but just go to the internet and Google it and you might be able to find it or use another part of the yarn. Um, sports weight number two yarn that you can find in your local area. For now um, I'm going to see you guys in the next clip and then I'm going to show you how this pattern works. Enjoy! Okay uh, I got myself a placemat because uh, on my working table and, and this color of yarn is quite kind of hard to see so therefore I decided to put the placemat right here or desk mat. I'm not sure how it's called. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to start off by making a magic loop or a magic ring. Um, if you find it hard to make the magic ring, then just chain four. Um, start off by a slip knot on your hook, chain four, and slip stitch into the first chain. 
um, to form a ring. I'm going to show you how I make my magic loop or my magic ring. My yarn uh, diagonal over my hand, then take the work strand of yarn here, the one that is attached to the ball of yarn, then on the back side of your hand, straight back down, then make a cross in the front, there you go, and back straight back down on the back side of your hand. Place your thumb on uh, the cross and turn around. Then get your crochet hook. With the hook facing down, underneath your first strand of yarn, get your second strand of yarn, pull this underneath your first strand of yarn, and then just twist it so the hook is facing up. See? It should look like that. And then go with your hook underneath the first strand of yarn right there, pull it underneath and of pull it through the loop on your hook. There you go. And there is your magic ring. Right, when you did a um, magic ring, you already made a chain one to close the ring or to uh, secure the ring, I should say. Um, but whenever you did the uh, chain four and then slip stitch into the first of the chain four to form a ring, uh, then you need to do uh, a chain of three right now. But as we already did uh, one chain, you need to chain two. So in total you need a chain 3. And a chain 3 that you have right now sh uh, is your very first double crochet. Now, we're going to make double crochets into this um, ring. And we need in total of 20. How to crochet a, a double crochet is a yarn over. And insert your hook into the ring. Grab your yarn, pull through, 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have two double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook in the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Three a double crochet in the ring. In total we need 20. As soon as I have 20 double crochet, and when I'm at the very end of this round, I'll be back to show you guys what to do next. Well, I did my 20 um, double crochet, and then I'm gonna pull the starting um, strand of yarn, yarn end, I'm gonna pull it gentle, and as you can see, by doing that, my um, big hole is gone. Now insert your hook in the third of the chain three at the beginning of the round. There you go. Pull up a loop and pull it through the loop on your hook, which is called a slip stitch. Round number two, chain four. One, two, three, four. The chain four is basically your very first double crochet and a chain one. Now for this round the repetition is um, one double crochet into the next stitch and a chain one. Yarn over, go to the next stitch, make a double crochet and a chain one. Next stitch, double crochet, and a chain one. Next stitch, double crochet, chain one. And this is what you do all the way around. Right, I'm at the very end of the round and it looks like I still have a stitch left here. But this basically is the slip stitch of your previous round. So, so. don't work in that one. 
um, if you're not sure then count your stitches you should have 20 double crochets counting the chain here as well 20 double crochets um, and 20 chain one spaces now close off your round by slip stitching into the third of the chain four at the beginning of the round there you go next round round number three chain one and work a um, half double crochet in the first stitch and in each stitch around and that is including the chain spaces so yarn over insert your hook into the third chain the same as where we just slip stitched in grab your yarn yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook now I find it easier to place a stitch marker into the first stitch and now um, a stitch or a double half double crochet into the chain space a half double crochet into the next double crochet a half double crochet into the chain space and this is what you do all the way around and if you find it easier um, to count the stitches then please do that to make sure that you have the right amount of stitches at the very end of this round at the end of the round you should have 20 half double crochet no, you should have 40, sorry, you should have 40 half double crochet stitches. 40, not 20, 40. I already took my stitch marker out in my Dutch video. Um, should have, you should have 40 half double crochet at the very end of the round. Then insert your hook at the first half double crochet at the beginning grab your yarn and pull through so you did a slip stitch now um, round number four I'm gonna start the round off slightly different than uh, I did in other videos um, there was a try out and I loved it how it looked so therefore I decided to do it in this pattern um, I'm gonna do something else instead of the chain three at the beginning of the round I'm going to do a chain one instead and then a single crochet into the first stitch so insert your hook grab your yarn yarn over and pull through two and then a chain one and this um, this is an alternative for your uh, chain three at the beginning of the round I'm gonna do it again to show you again how I did that so you do you start off with a chain one then into the same stitch as where you slip stitched in a single crochet and a chain one place your stitch marker into the chain one there as this is the top of your alternative um, double crochet if you don't like it, do it as you wish. Just do a chain three or whatever you prefer. Okay, it's all up to you. Now, make a double crochet into the same stitch. Just go back in the same stitch, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now you have two a double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one skip the next stitch and crochet so skip this one and crochet two double crochet in the next stitch one two chain one 
and skip the next stitch. Two double crochet in the next stitch. One, two, chain one, and skip the next. And this is what you do all the way around. So skipping this one, two double crochets in the next, chain one, skip the next. I'll see you guys at the very end of this round. Right, at the very end of round number four, you should have 40 double crochet and 20 chain spaces. Now, take your stitch marker out and remember that your stitch marker currently is, or was, now it was, um, into the chain one that we did. Insert your hook in the chain one, you grab your yarn and pull through the loop on your hook, which is called a slip stitch. Round number five. Round number five is an easy one. We're just going to make half double crochets in each stitch around and into the chain spaces. So chain one, in the chain one right there, half double crochet, place your stitch marker back into the first stitch. There you go. Look. And then a half double crochet in the next stitch and a half double crochet into the chain space. I find it easier to count my stitches so at the very end I'm sure that I have enough stitches. Um, but I don't like to call or to um, um, I don't like to count, sorry, I don't like to count to, uh, till 60, so I count till 3. Let me show you. 1, half double crochet, 2 in the next stitch, and th number 3 goes into the chain space. 1 in the stitch, second one in the stitch, and number three in the chain space. And this is how I count my stitches. All the way to the end of the round and at the very end in total I should have 60 half double crochet stitches. I will see you guys at the very end of round number five. At the very end of round number five you should have 60, 6, 0, 60 half double crochet stitches. Take your stitch marker out and close the round off by slip stitching into the first half double crochet stitch at the beginning of the round. Now round number six, chain one, single crochet into the first stitch and chain one. Get your stitch marker and place the stitch marker into the chain one that you just did. Now, in the next sti stitch, we're going to increase. So therefore, we're going to make two, um, two double crochets into the same stitch. One, two. Followed by a chain one and skip the next stitch. So the repetition of this round is one double crochet in the next and two double crochet in the next stitch which is the which is the increase chain one skip one let me do that again one double crochet two double crochets in the next one, two, chain one, skip one, one double crochet, two double crochet, one, two, chain one, skip one. And this is what you do all the way around.
till you're here. And then you should have 60 double crochets and 20 chain spaces. At the very end of a round number six, you should have 60 double crochet and 20 chain spaces. Take your stitch marker out and make a slip stitch into the chain one or the chain three if you did the chain three at the beginning of the round. Chain one and in the same stitch, that's where you just closed your previous round, a half a double crochet I'd like to put my stitch marker back into the first stitch. There you go. And I'm sorry if it is hard to see, but here is where the stitch marker is. See? Into the first stitch. All right. Now, again, this is a half double crochet round. So in each stitch around a half double crochet, including the chain spaces and in this round I like to count until four one in the first one number two in the second one number three in the third one and number four in the chain space and this is what you do all the way around half double crochet stitches in each stitch around. At the very end of this round your work should lay flat again. As you can see it looks like a little cup. See? It, it just bends. Don't worry. At the end of every half double crochet round it should be great. It should be flat. And if that does not work completely until you are at the end of the um, pattern then we have the border that will do the trick for you so don't worry at all okay at the end of the round 80 8 0 80 half double crochet stitches okay at the end of the round um, you should have 80 half double crochet stitches I already took my stitch marker out and now I'm going to slip stitch into the first um, half double crochet at the beginning of the round. Then I'm going to do my alternative um, double crochet for the start of round 8. Chain 1, single crochet, chain 1. If you don't like it this way, then just do the chain 3. Place your stitch marker into the chain 1. And a double crochet in the next stitch and two doubles in the next one two chain one skip one so the repetition of this round is one double crochet one double crochet in the next and two double crochets in the next one, two, chain one, skip one. Again, one, one, two, double crochets in the same stitch, one, two, chain one, skip one. Once again, one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets, one, two, chain one, skip one. And this is what you do all the way to the end of the round. And at the very end of round number eight, you should have uh, 80, 80 double crochet stitches and 20 chain spaces. One. Um, and round number eight, at the very end, 80, uh, I, would, 
I wanted to say stokjes, but that is the Dutch word for double crochet. Um, 80 double crochet and 20 chain spaces. Take your stitch marker out and place a slip stitch into the um, chain, the chain where your slip stitch was, or uh, the third of the chain three if you did a chain three. Then round number nine is an easy one because we're making we're going to crochet a half a double crochet in each stitch around. So chain one, half a double crochet in the first stitch, half double crochet in the second stitch. If you like, you can place your stitch marker into the first stitch. If you find it easier, half double crochet in the third, half double crochet in the fourth stitch, and half double crochet number five goes into a chain space. And this is how I count. Um, I don't like it to count till 100, um, but if you count till five, it makes it easier. So one, two, three, four, five in a chain space. At the very end of a round number nine, you should have a 100 half double crochet stitches. Close around by slip stitching into the first half double crochet at the beginning of the round. Now, round number 10. Um, as you probably noticed, um, we're doing the increase uh, basically exactly the same. But in every other row, we just add one stitch. So in round eight, we had um, one double crochet in, in, in um, each of the two stitches and an increase in the next. So one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet. For this round, round number 10, we're going to do one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. The first stitch is different because we're starting that one off by chain one, single crochet, chain one. If you prefer to do a chain three, feel free to do that. But this one, we call this one a double crochet. Okay. Now, one double crochet, another one is two, and another one is three double crochet. In the next two double crochet, which is your increase, increase, increase. I find that hard to pronounce. Increase. <laughs> Chain one, skip one. Okay, so this one was slightly different. So one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Let me do that again. One. two, three. In the next stitch, we're going to do the increase. So two stitches, two double crochets in the same stitch. Chain one, skip one. One double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Two, three, and one double crochet, sorry, two double crochets in the next stitch, your increase stitch. Chain one, skip one. Okay? One more time. One, two, three, and two double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one, skip one. 
and this is what you do all the way around till you're here. At the very end of round number 10, uh, I have 100 uh, double crochet and 20 chain spaces. And I'm going to close off the round by slip stitching into the chain one. There you go. In the top of the chain one, the one after your single crochet. Or if you did the chain three, in the top of the chain three. Chain one. And this round again is an easy round. It is the round with half double crochet stitches. And in total we need 120 half double crochet stitches. So in the first one here, one, placing my stitch marker back into the first half double crochet stitch, there you go. And then I'm gonna count till six, just, just because I think that is easier, but do is do it as you prefer. So one, two, three, four, five, and number six goes into the chain space. And this is what you do all the way around. So one half double crochet in each stitch around. I will see you guys at the very end of round number 11. We're at the very end of round number 11. Slip stitching into the first stitch. There you go. And round number 11 is a fact. Um, uh, at least that is a, a proverb in Dutch and if you translate it, it probably makes no sense. So sorry for that. But well. Um, we did round number 11. Um, round number 12. I will have to tell you guys something to um, understand the pattern a little bit more. When you have a look at your um, work, what you can see is here we have one double crochet. And then a round with half double crochets. Then we have two double crochets three double crochets, four double crochets, five double crochets. And as the rounds with double crochets are the increased rounds, you probably know what I'm about to say. This round will be a round with six double crochets. But as we need an increase, um, there will be um, six of these six double crochets, there will be one increase. And one increase is two double crochets in the same stitch. That leaves us with four separate double crochets. Which means we need one double crochet in each of the next four stitches and an increase of two double crochets in the next. Total we'll do six double crochet. I hope it makes sense. So I'm going to do the alternative double crochet, like I did in my whole pattern. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, and I'm placing the stitch marker into the first, or in the uh, single, in the um, chain, sorry, in the chain, which is for me is the top of my double crochet. Now, this is number one double crochet, number two in the next stitch, number three in the next, and number four in the next. Then two double crochets in one stitch. My increase. Chain one, skip one. Let's do that again. One double crochet in each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. One increase, number five and number six in one stitch. Chain one, skip one. 
and this is what you do all the way around. So one double crochet in each of the next four stitches, two double crochet in one stitch, chain one, skip one. I'll see you guys at the very end of this round. Okay, I took the stitch marker already out and um, I'm going to slip stitch into the chain one at the beginning of the round to close off the round number um, 12 and you should have 120 double crochet and 20 chain spaces. In total that is 140. So in round number 13, chain one, half double crochet in the first stitch, second, third, number four, number five, number six and number seven goes into the chain space. Now uh, 100, 120 plus 20 is 140. So in this um, round, in round number 13, you should have 140 half double crochet. That is 140. 140. 140. Now, um, I'm starting to count again. One. Because I'd like to count till seven, two, three, four, five, six, and in the chain space number seven, all the way to the end of the round. And when I'm here, I'll be back to show you what to do next in round 14. At the end of round number 13, you should have 140. 140, 140, half double crochets. Slip stitch into the first stitch to close off the round. Now, for round number 14, we're going to um, increase again. Now, in this round, in round number uh, 12, we had six stitches, four double crochet in a row, and an increase of one stitch, so two stitches in one, which is six. In this round, we need seven stitches. Seven minus two in one is five, so in the next five stitches, one double crochet, and two double crochets in the next. I'm going to do the alternative double crochet by chaining one single crochet chain one. You can place your stitch marker in that last chain one and this is your first double crochet. Number two in the next, number three in the next, four in the next and number five in the next and then an increase in the next six and seven in one stitch. Chain one Skip one. Let's do that again. So skip one. One, two, three, four, five, and two in the next. Number six and seven in the same stitch. Chain one, skip one, and repeat. So this is what you do all the way around and at the very end of round number 14 you should have 140 double crochets and 20 chain spaces. I'll see you guys at the end of the round. At the end of round number 14 I'm going to slip stitch in the chain 1 There you go. To close off the round. Now if you did a chain three, then slip stitch into the third of the chain three. Round number 15 is just an easy round again, because we're going to crochet half double crochets. Chain one, 
one half double crochet in the first stitch and in this round um, I like to make things easier for myself so therefore I'm going to uh, count until 8 and my 8th stitch will go into the chain space 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and number 8 and then I'm gonna start accounting again 1 till 8 um, at the very end of this round you should have 160 160160 half double crochet st stitches um, enjoy and I will see you at the very end of this round three round number 15 slip stitching into the first of uh, stitch of the round then uh, we have 160 half double crochets chain one for round number 16 then single crochet and chain one for our first double crochet um, we need six double crochets and an increase of two double crochets in one stitch makes a total of eight stitches counting the first one as your first stitch this one stitch number two three four five and six and an increase of two stitches in one stitch so now we have eight stitches remember that and not in the previous row but in the row before that one we had seven stitches so now we have eight do not forget the chain one and to skip one stitch before you go to the next section of your pattern one, two, three, four, five, six, and two doubles in one chain one and skip. This is what you do all the way around, and I'll see you guys at the very end. At the very end of the round, I'm going to slip stitch into the chain one. There you go. Then um, you should have 160 double crochet and 20 chain spaces. Now for round number 17, I'm going to crochet one half double crochet in each stitch around and this time I'm going to count until nine and my ninth stitch will be into the chain space I think I don't have to show you guys this round anymore because we've done that quite a few times now so all I'm gonna say is enjoy and I'll see you at the very end of this round um, and then I'm going to show you um, how you should crochet when you're going to change, change, when you're going to change colors or stick to the um, one color pattern. Um, at the very end, you should have 180 half double crochet stitches. One, eight, zero 180 enjoy I'm at the very end of round number 17 now if you want to crochet your uh, placemat in just one um, color you go to the first stitch of the round and you just slip stitch but if you want your 
um, edging your border um, of your work to be in another color then instead of um, slip stitching with the same color you get your new color your color number B then insert your hook get your new color over your hook and pull that one through then cut your color number A your first uh, color and cut it in about this big 10 centimeters or so like that so you have um, some yarn to weave in um, your ends and then you use your second color um, to continue crochet that's what I did for my first one for my first um, placemat but uh, for this one I wanted I want one in just one color so I'm going to slip stitch with the same color okay but I promised you guys that I'm, uh, I was going to show you how to do it so right um, round number 18 number 19 20 and 21 are the rounds for the edging of your work of your placemat um, I'm not sure if that actually is an English word placemat if I'm if I'm not correct I'm going to change it in the title of the video um, but basically it is a Dutch word so well we use it in Dutch anyway um, round number 18 chain 5 1 2 3 for your very first a double a crochet then a chain 2 um, for your um, chain 2 space then a double crochet in the same stitch there you go and there is your very first V stitch of the round now skip two stitches one two and work another V stitch in the next double crochet chain two double crochet skip two stitches one two double crochet chain two and double crochet in the same stitch skip two double crochet chain two double crochet skip two this is what you do all the way around I'll see you guys when I'm at the very end of round 18 and the very end of round number 18 you will have 60 six zero, 60 V stitches we're going to close off the round by slip stitch slip stitching into the third of the chain 5 at the beginning of the round there you go then another slip stitch in the next um, chain and another slip stitch in the next chain which basically is the fifth chain that one is kind of hard to find should be there there you go okay um, we're doing this because I like to um, start off the pattern from the middle from the center of the uh, v-stitch then chain three um, the chain three counts as a double crochet and I know I'm, I'm doing it differently than I did for the whole pattern but uh, it's just um, more pretty um, in the round to do it like this but do as you prefer okay now I'm going to add one double crochet into the same chain two space there you go and um, here is the last double crochet of the v-stitch we're going to make a front post double crochet around that stitch yarn over insert your hook into the v-stitch go back 
um, of your um, double crochet and come back up here on the side of your double crochet. Then yarn over, pull your yarn underneath the double crochet. Now you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So now we have two double crochets and a front post double crochet. I'm going to show you again. Yarn over. Here is a, a whole V-stitch. Um, first double crochet of the V-stitch and the second double crochet of the V-stitch. We're going to make a front post double crochet around the first double crochet of the V-stitch. So this is how I do it. Yarn over, pull underneath, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Then two double crochets into the V-stitch. One, two, chain one. Again, two double crochets into the V-stitch. One, two, and a front post double crochet around the last double crochet of the V-stitch. Yarn over, go inside the V-stitch, go behind your double crochet and come back up on the other side of your double crochet. Yarn over, pull this underneath your double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And this is the repetition of this round. Front post, double crochet, two doubles, chain one, two double crochet, and a front post double crochet. Okay, let's do that one more time. Yarn over, front post double crochet, two double crochets into the V-stitch, chain one, two front post double crochets in the V-stitch, sorry, two double crochets into the V-stitch, and one front post double crochet around the double crochet of the V-stitch. And this is how it looks. This is what you need to do all around. And as soon as you did your last one, I'll be back to show you how to finish off the first one. Well, I did my very last uh, 3D shell um, pattern. Um, almost at the very beginning of the pattern. Um, here we have half a 3D shell pattern. So we need to finish that one off to complete it by making a front post double crochet two doubles into the V-stitch. There you go. And instead of doing a chain one and slip stitch, we're going to do a um, single crochet into the third chain at the beginning of the round. We're doing this because I, because I want to end up uh, in the middle um, of, the, um, um, of the chain space. So one, two, three, this is the third one. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through two. And there is sort of a little bit of a chain space. Now, for our next round, round number 20, um, we're going to make V-stitches again, but a little bigger. So therefore I'm going to... Right, 
So here you have a little bit of a chain space. We're going to work um, into this space. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, our very first double crochet and the chain four for the chain four uh, space, chain space. One, two, three, four. In total, a chain seven. Now yarn over and make in the same space, in this space, a double crochet. There you go. And there it is, your uh, V-stitch with four chains. We're going to our next chain one space of the previous row, round. There it is. Double crochet. Chain four. double crochet into the same chain one space and this is what you do all the way around so go to the next chain one space double crochet chain four double crochet next double crochet chain four double crochet all the way around I will see you guys at the very end of this round at the very end of round number 20 um, slip stitch into the third of the chain 7 at the beginning of the round slip stitch there you go now um, we need to slip stitch over the um, chains here but we're going to skip the first one so into the second one slip stitch and into the third one slip stitch now you should have one left and you ended up in the middle of your V stitch and this is what we want now a chain three this is your very first a double crochet we're going to add two more double crochet into the same chain space. So in total we have three double crochets, then a front post double crochet, and this is half a shell stitch. Now we're going to the next shell stitch, front post double crochet. Three double crochets. One, two, three. And now we're going to make a pico. Chain three. You can do this in two different ways. This is not the method that I prefer, but I'm going to show you anyway. So you did a chain three, then insert your hook into the first of the chain three yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop on the hook. This is how you can do a pico. It's not my met uh, method. I like to do it different. But do, as you, do it like um, the way you like it. Okay. I'm still going to do the chain three but instead of going into the first I'm going into the um, loop here that this is the top of the double crochet you just did and right right next to that there is a side stitch a, a side loop can you see it here I'm going underneath these two loops and I'm going to yarn over pull through both of these loops yarn over and pull through two so basically I'm going to the um, double crochet um, going through these two loops and I'm going to single crochet in them. I think it's easier. I think it's um, mm, more pretty. But it just depends on the look that you want. It just, you know, do what you like to do. Okay, now three more double crochets into the same space three 
and a front post double crochet around the double crochet of the previous round. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you again. Front post double crochet. Three double crochets into the chain space. Pico, chain three. Go to the side stitch here and there. Single crochet. And three double crochets. One, two, three, double crochet. Now, in my very first one, in my very first um, wonder that I did, here's the picture, um, I did uh, four double crochets, Pico, four double crochets. But my uh, testers, my the ones that are testing my uh, pattern, my written Dutch pattern, unfortunately, um, I'm just able to do the written patterns in Dutch at the moment, but maybe along the way I will do them in English as well. If so, I'm going to put it down below into the description box of this video. Um, but I cannot make any promises because it's a lot of work. Anyhow, um, anyway, um, in the first one I did, I did a, um, I did four double crochet, pico, four double crochet, but it was a bit wobbly, not in my pattern, but from um, the, the ones that two of my uh, testers did. So, um, yeah, I decided to change it to three double crochets, pico, three double crochets. Okay. Now, again, front post double crochet, three double crochets, one, two, three, chain three, pico, Three double crochets, and a front post double crochet. This is what you do all the way around. And please, if you don't like it, don't like it to do the pico like I do it, do it your way, or just skip it at all and just do a Chain one, if you prefer to do that, it's fine too. It's all up to you. Um, you're making this one for yourself or for your friends or for your family, and you should be happy the way you're going to create it. So, and the way it looks. So, feel free to change that for yourself, okay? So, um, I will continue working on this pattern. Uh, on this placemat and I will see you guys um, at the very end of this video. I forgot one. Um, I'm going to show you how you finish off the f uh, very first shell um, and how, um, well, I'm going to show you the end results at the very end of the video. So please enjoy and I'll see you guys later. Okay, I did my very last shell and now I'm going to finish off the first one here. I'm going to do that by crocheting a front post double crochet around the double crochet of the previous round. Then three double crochet into the V stitch. One, two, three. Then a pico, one, two, chain of three, single crochet, and slip stitch into the third of the chain three at the beginning of the round. There you go. Then chain one, leave a little bit of a tail end, cut your yarn, pull through, 
there you go and work in your yarn ends on the back side of your work I already did this one because it was annoying me so I did sew it in on the inside of my work the wrong side of your work I'm gonna do the same with, with this one and after I did that I'll be back to show you how um, it looks the end result Well, this is what it looks like. I absolutely love it. I'm, I've been zoomed out quite a lot. So, um, just to show you guys how it looks. I love, love, love it. Extra tip. If you want to um, give this one away as a gift, um, friends, family, other loved ones, um, what you can do is fold it in half like that then fold it into a quarter and then fold it two times like that and then get yourself a plastic or no, an elastic not plastic an elastic band I have I'm gonna zoom in um, there you go. I have an elastic hairband just because it's easier to show you. There you go. Put it just underneath the uh, border like that. Then get yourself some ribbon. I just uh, found something on my desk. This is not the ribbon that I actually wanted to um, wanted to use but it's just to show you what you can do so there you go make a lovely bow with your ribbon I'm really good at making bows no there you go no it looks horrible seem it looks horrible you can do better Well, half an hour later. Three weeks later. <laughs> Just wrap it around the elastic band. Make a bow. I'm sure you can do it better than I did. And then you have a beautiful flower to give away. You can also put the cellophane um, around th this um, flower placemat and it's beautiful to give, for example, to your mom or your sister or your grandma or whoever you want to give it to. Extra tip. Well, that's it. Um, what can I say? Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope that you really liked watching this video, that you enjoyed making this placemat. Um, if you do like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Uh, do not forget to hit that notification bell so you will get notified every time I upload another video. Um, the um, I do upload videos in both Dutch and English. Um, I try to do more English videos as well of my older videos. But please um, have some patience with me. I know there are, are a lot of requests. Especially for a show that I did last year. Um, it's on its way. It'll be there uh, I think in the, in the beginning of next year. I am 
I promise. I'm, I can make that promise, okay? I will try to get it online at the beginning of next year. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it. And well, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much um, for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it all. Um, yeah. If you met US and you want to share it with me, uh, post it on Instagram. Do not forget to tag me. Um, or um, you're more than welcome to join us at our Facebook group made by Seam Headquarters. Um, the main language in the group is Dutch, but we have that wonderful feature of Facebook um, that is called the translation. So every um, everything will be translated for you in English. So uh, you don't miss out on anything at all. Okay. Um, for now, um, enjoy whatever you're going to do. Stay safe, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now. Hobby's home, so I'm gonna open the door. See you in a minute. Chain four, and in our chain four, and in our same chain space, a, a double crochet. So, oops, cock, 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 cock. Knip.